Oh look, Enzo Maresca has taken it upon himself to unveil the hidden wonders of the Premier League to its own fans. I mean, who would have thought that a league so hyped up globally is actually filled with subtleties that natives don't even grasp? Do English fans have their eyes glued to the scoreboards and not the exquisite footwork? What a mystery. Maybe they're just too busy chanting to notice the art? Oh, the tragedy. Imagine a world where, while the fans are busy shouting like they're in an opera, they miss out on the intricate ballet happening on the field. Enzo says they don't realize they're witnessing a masterpiece every weekend. Hmm, perhaps instead of jerseys, they should hand out monocles at the entrance? That might help them appreciate the full beauty of a perfectly executed nutmeg instead of applauding a last minute goal like it's the second coming. Who needs a classic anyway? Maresca suggests that English fans might be suffering from the too close to see syndrome. You know, that condition where you're staring at the most beautiful painting, yet all you can discuss is frame size? Bravo. What's next? A support group for overly enthusiastic yet slightly oblivious fans. They could swap tales of missed offside traps while sipping tea and crumpets, truly splendid conversations about football or lack thereof. Let's not forget how interesting it is that Maresca feels the need to enlighten the people whose hearts jump every time a player falls dramatically. Oh yes, because who needs a red card when you can have a theatrical dive? It seems Enzo has taken on the role of football's very own fairy godmother, waving a magic wand to make sure fans suddenly start to appreciate the beauty of something they apparently can't even see. Cheers to that. Just make sure they keep an eye on the theatrics, shall we? Perhaps the answer lies not in the fans, but in the players. Have they been so performative, so dazzlingly distracting, that fans can't possibly keep up? Hidden beauty amid the chaos? Surely, the players must be winking their eyeballs out, signaling, hey, look at the artistry, while the fans are busy practicing their victory dances. Bravo, gentlemen. You've not only mastered kicking a ball, but also achieving Houdini-level escapes from actual football appreciation. In reality, can we really blame fans for being a tad hyper-focused? What if those hundredth-second glances at the scoreboard are simply a misguided effort to properly document the on-field drama? It's a lot like the average English summer. We just want to bask in our short bursts of sunshine while quietly ignoring the looming rain. Perhaps the true beauty of the Premier League is in its capacity to distract us from our dire inability to comprehend its depth. What a beautiful misinterpretation. So, here's the million dollar question. Are we as fans simply enjoying the chaos and spectacle that is the Premier League while ignoring all the beauty under the surface? Or are we pumping our fists and longing for the days when we could adequately appreciate a sublime corner kick rather than just the tally on the scoreboard. Does anyone need a monocle to see what we might be missing, or do we want another chant to drown out that subtle noise? Like and subscribe, please.